minus 10, 9, 9 8, 8, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Liftoff. We have liftoff of the United Launch Alliance Delta IV rocket carrying GPS 2F SV-1 for the United States Air Force. The global positioning system serves the U.S. military, America's transportation system, and civilian users around the world. Coming up 20 seconds into the flight. Mark, 20 seconds. Still looking good. Good engine control and roll, and good engine control, pitch and yaw. Thirty-five seconds in. Chamber pressure now beginning to decline on the solid rocket motor one and two, very symmetrically, as we'd expect at this point in the flight. Coming up forty-seven seconds. Passing forty-seven seconds. That's Mach one, standing by for one minute. One minute, maximum dynamic pressure on the vehicle, max Q. You are hearing the voice of Steve Agad providing launch vehicle ascent data. Now passing one minute, 10 seconds into the flight. Coming up one minute, 20 seconds. Mark, one minute, 20 seconds into the flight. Standing by for SRM burnout, solid rocket motor burnout less than 10 seconds from now. Chamber pressure uh, reducing in the uh, both solids. Standing by for SEP. And we have SEP. Solid malware 1 and 2 have separated successfully from the vehicle. 1 minute 47 seconds into the flight. And Steve Agate just confirmed a jettison of the two solid rocket motors, and the mission continues nominally. Our next event is main engine cutoff, our MECO. And now again, let's go back to Steve Agate. Chamber pressure on the main engine continuing to look very, very good at this time. Roll control very good. And main engine pitch and yaw control very good, well within our ability to control. Coming up two minutes, 20 seconds. Now passing an altitude of 32.2 uh, nautical miles, velocity 7,080 feet per second, downrange distance 45.9 nautical miles. Two minutes, 35 seconds in. Still looking good. About one minute, 25 seconds or so until uh, main engine cutoff. Coming up three minutes into the flight. Mark, three minutes in. About one minute now remaining until main engine cutoff. Chamber pressure is holding very solid at this time. Very little uh, roll nozzle activity. Well within our ability to control. Main engine uh, pitch and yaw is good. Now passing an altitude of 55.2 nautical miles, velocity 13,142 feet per second, downrange distance 135 nautical miles. About 15 seconds now until uh, we go to the partial thrust mode. We'll be in the partial thrust mode for about five seconds, and then we'll have a main engine cut off. Standing by for the command to go to partial thrust. And we have partial thrust command, thrust level beginning to drop in the main engine. Standing by for MECO. And we have MECO. Standing by for 1-2 SEP. We have 1-2 SEP. Standing by, net speed is now increasing as the nozzle is deploying. Standing by for igniter spark. And we have igniter sparks standing by for ignition. And we have ignition. Ignition on the second stage. Second stage chamber pressure is beginning to rise. Good chamber pressure on the second stage. Good steady state value. We have fairing SEP.
Coming up four minutes, 55 seconds into the flight. Now five minutes into the flight, still looking good. This is Delta Mission Control, and we are just over five minutes into the mission. And we just heard Steve Agat report the successful ex execution of the events comprising the early part of tonight's mission. And we are now in the first of two planned second stage engine burns. This burn will last approximately seven minutes and 45 seconds. Engine control and pitch and yaw. Today's launch was the 349th in Delta program history and the 13th Delta IV mission. The Delta program began 50 years ago this month with the launch of a Thor Delta rocket from Cape Canaveral on May 13, 1960. Over its 50 years of service, the Delta family of rockets has achieved the most successful flight record of any expendable rocket currently in use with a success rate of 95.7%.